host and uh, captain for this evening. So welcome to Murder Mitten's Air. I'm just joking. Ah. Uh, that being said, um, this is hard mode today. So many of you are regulars. Um, we do have a couple of guildies with us today who this... I, I haven't seen you run with me before, so maybe this might be your first hard mode run. Uh, but that is perfectly alright. I'm going to walk everyone through the, um, the boss mechanics once we get to it. Um, but that being said, welcome. Uh, uh, the only rules that we have really are um, everything is master booted, all the BOEs and all the mats are hard reserve for the guild bank. Um, all of the trash drops, unless they are soft reserved, are open for roll. Um, we are doing a plus system here in Emerald Sanctum, and I do track the pluses. And I also have a number of other people who are so generous enough to um, kind of look over my handiwork and catch the mistakes that I don't get. Um, so, I, again, I do track it, but this is to prioritize people coming to Emerald Sanctum, um, our regulars, to make sure that they're getting their loot. We run hard mode um, pretty much three times a month, and the first Saturday, excuse me, the first Sunday of the month, is always our easy mode run. Um, so if you need anything that only drops in easy mode, aka the claw, that is your weekend to do it. Um, there you are, I shouldn't. There we go. There you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, so we have our lovely tanks today, which I am also about, I am bullying um, Alessandro, if you could just tank the mobs, that would be lovely. <laughs> Um, but our tanks today are Doc Danger, Hildro, Campo, and Alessandro, because again, I'm bullying them. Um, our general rule of thumb when it comes to the mobs. Alessandro? The water? Oh, Alicia. excuse me. Alicia. Ash Sola? Ash Sola. There we go. Sorry, words are... <laughs> get interchanged sometimes. Um, either way, um... So these are our uh, tanks for today. General rule of thumb when it comes to the mobs, guys, and this is just for the mobs. Um, dreamers are first, then it's the wormkins, the suppressors, the scale banes, or excuse me, the worms, the scale banes, and then um, the dra uh, dragonkin. I might call out individually um, different things, but. Um, Healbro is normally my master looter, but since they're going to be one of my tanks today, I'm actually going to ask... I'm going to do the master loot myself, and then, um... Am, if I could get you to... Wait, Am, can you still skin? Or is it a no? Oh, beautiful. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to ask Am to skin for me. That way, um, the group can kind of go, and then I can stick behind and do the loot necessary. All right, that being said, that's pretty much it. Um, if anyone has any questions, feel free to call it out in voice chat or um, regular chat. I'm more than happy to assist. Um, this is a pretty easy run. And if anyone is interested, we are running the Renixia immediately following this. Uh, really quickly, I'm gonna do ready check before, because um, I'm definitely missing salve myself. If you feel like you're missing one, <laughs> no, this is not the the raid that runs my blood pressure. I promise. <laughs> oh no! Truly a tragedy. All right, Looks like the only person that we are missing is Scratchy, um, who is currently offline. So hopefully they come back relatively soon. I don't know if they're in voice. And Porus. Of course. Yes. And Bartek. Um, but we should be fine. Just Yeah. Hopefully Scratchy will log back on soon. Alright. 
uh-huh, uh-huh. Running next in three hours. You're funny. We are so ready to pull. <laughs> Just run it. All right, let's ready to rock and roll, gentlemen and ladies. Hit him hard, hit him fast. Uh, shamans, please do remember to put your tremor totems down. Tremor totem is a girl's best friend. Next to diamonds. And food, right? Yes, food is a definitely a plus. Let's make sure that our tanks that are holding off um, our wormkins. If we have wormkins in this one, I don't think so. Um, or maybe they're already down. Castries, please do be cautious of the dragonkin shimmer. That is when they are reflecting magic. We have seven shamans. Only the paladins should be sleeping. Everyone else should have tremor. If you don't have tremor, use strong words in party chat. Or nice words. Nice words work too. All right, big heels on the tank holding the wormkins that poison stacks and it cannot be cleansed. Anyone who can interrupt a spell, if you see a suppressor doing a mana or magic drain, please do interrupt. And then Am, just let me know if there's any uh, thing that I need to pick up from behind. Casters and healers, make sure you're at max range. The worm does have a poison volley. The poison volley can be cleansed. However, if you're at max range, you won't get hit. But shamans, please do put down your poison cleansing totems. Nicely done, everyone. Nicely done. There's a scale bane to the left of us, just patrolling. I don't know if you guys want to just grab that now. Minus, yeah. Scale veins do need to be pointed away from the raid because they cleave. So the melee make sure that you are at max range and you're sitting on their tail. And if you got nothing to do as a warrior, you can always swap over and disarm them. Saves a lot of Drop that point. You can disarm them. Big heels on the tanks holding off the wormkins. Please don't ninja pull again. We have no marks. Yes, everyone, make sure we allow our tanks to mark up first. 
Everyone, a suppressor and wormkin need to go down first. Once they're down, then casters, you're gonna focus on the scale veins. Melee, you're gonna focus on the dreamers. Alright, we are heading into the territory where we need to be cautious of Arrhenius. I'm in hard mode, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to mark him with the X. Um, in hard mode, we actually verse the bosses at the same time. I know, we definitely have some DPS monsters with us today. Absolute powerhouses. Is he patting back this way? Because we could take that group. He's going at with this path. He's going to go around and then come back. So we've got a little bit of space. Or excuse me, not space. Time. I guess space and time. Or perpendicular of each other. Physical sense. Either way, I'm sorry. <laughs> but an interesting morning. It's Sunday, don't worry. Alright, everyone, once the dreamers are down, we're going to be focusing in on the wormkins. Whoever is holding off on the worm, please just hold them back. Outrange the volley, of course. Can. All right. Um, I'm gonna do something a little bit out of the norm for our pathing, guys. Instead of going to the left pack, we're actually gonna go to the right, um, just because of where Arrhenius is and with his pathing, it's probably going to make the most sense. So we'll take that little pack of dreamers, and then we'll take that bigger pack. Pick up the little ads on the side. Oh, fuck it, never mind. Alright, for this next pack, dreamers, or excuse me, skeletons do need to be pointed away from the raid. And dreamers need to go down first. Once this pack is down, ladies and gents, um, we are going to circle around watching, uh, Arrhenius is pathing. We'll take that dreamer pack in like the pond area and then that bigger pack and then make our way to the safety cubby. You are more than welcome to pull if you are confident, my lovely guys. Marcus. Nope. Oh, thank you. Yes. I was picking up stuff so I could see. Once the dreamers and the wormkins, excuse me, the dreamers and the wormkins are down. Uh, casters, you're going to be on the scale vein, and melee are going to be on the dragon pin. So casters, please focus on triangle first. And then melee, once the dream or dragon king goes down, we can focus in on triangle and then uh, square. Oh, 
houses. Alright, everyone. Let's clean up here, and then we'll make our way over to the safety pack. Or excuse me, the safety cubby. And once the boss passes, we'll take care of the dreamers. We're not done. We have so much room, no need to go to the cubby, right? Um, hold on a second. I'm lost. I lost track for the boss was. We could just go northwest and clear the bookmax. He's busy. He's gonna path to east. You are correct. I think so too. You can fight like here, right? Oh, and don't kill them in the water. That makes it terrible to loot and skin them. Yes, please. Please, uh, take them on land. Let's make sure, though, after we take care of the pack, um, that we res everyone before moving on to the next pack. General rule of thumb, guys, is if we accidentally attract Arrhenius, um, we kind of all have to wipe. <laughs> Alright. Please make your way over to the next pack while I take care of loot. Oh, he's passing towards us. Pull him in behind that, uh... He doesn't go cliff. here. He doesn't go here. He goes south, right? Yeah, he's gonna go south. Either way... Whoever has square, kind of pull him a little bit closer to the wall if he can. No. Pull towards yeah, but he's, he's just gonna fly up and then he's just gonna fly down again. He's not gonna do anything. He doesn't Voltage. go through these packs. Still any pull totems, please. On Leo. Pull totems, pull totems. Ah. We wiped him That's why we're on voice, right? So we can communicate. Alright, <laughs> so... Uh, somebody needs just to DE. Just kill or the scale bane. Just kill the scale bane. Don't do that. Just run in. Kill these we can and kill then run in. Yeah. We could totally kill both of them. Don't Someone kill the radius. Someone just away and then kill this. Don't, yeah, we're not, we're not gonna be able to. Just get this. Alright, yep. We're all gonna die and we're all gonna run in. We're not resing. It's like five minutes We're not resing. I'm sorry. My uh, brain was on auto mode for raid leading. No, Zelenis brain was. I mean, we talked several times to remove totems. Don't, don't walk in until he's dead. You might just you, won't, you, you won't get aggroed if you walk in. Are you sure? He used to put everyone in combat. I have no, it's... It won't let you come back in um, until he resets. No, that's not true. We're inside he's, now. He's, he's, not a, he's not like a boss. You can, you can just walk in. Then they changed him. I think you can't zone him while he's pulled. Yeah, we just did zone in while he was in combat. He was killing people. I sneak my way over to uh, do loot. Everyone else, once you come in, if you would like to make your way over into the safety cubby, that is where Jeffries is. And then once we um, kind of figure out how we're going to divvy up our tanks and our healers, we will get ready to rock and roll. 
I also give Bartek a second. The poor man is like sprinting down his street. And as stated, you're running in. You're not waiting for a rest. Oh, baby, full rebuffs. That's that coin. <laughs> oh, baby. Uh, me, Mami, Mu, Padilla. On the Rainius. Uh, yeah. Since Scratchy didn't come back. Yeah, we have okay. 38 people right now, and we have more than 40 people on the sign-up road. It's not fair. Okay, I'm gonna remove... He said plus in chat, so I'm wondering if something happened. Maybe you know. power outage. Is him the voice call? <laughs> I don't know. Is he? Yeah, Scratch is. Yeah, he is. Just waiting so it doesn't have to do trash. Understand. <laughs> well, <laughs> if he can come back in time for the boss, I'll invite him back in. Yeah. It's all good. That's an option? No, it's not. No, no, it is not. It is now. You get to do it one week, and then we catch a drift. Okay, everybody. Um, while we are buffing up and everything else, I'm going to really quickly go over how the bosses are handled. So, with the hard mode, uh, both bosses need to be tackled at the same time. We are only killing one boss, however, we are not actually engaging, or excuse me, we're not killing Arrhenius. Um, reason being is that if we don't kill him, he gives us a nice big chest. Which drops some really nice loot. So, that being said, um, we need to split up our groups um, in order to handle one tank with three healers on Arrhenius, and then everyone else is going to be on Sonius. Um, so, our tank that's going to handle um, Arrhenius today is definitely going to be Hillbro. So, I'm going to ask Hillbro um, to have Coincidence, Fidelia, and um, Mama Moo, those three individuals are going to be healing Healbro. I will have the marks available. I'm going to have Amma the Hunter do the pet pull for Arrhenius. Uh, once we pull Arrhenius and once we get Arrhenius into position, we're going to wait until Mommy has at least 10k threat. Then we will start the Sonius fight. Sonius has... There we go. There's Bartek. Oh, right. Yeah, I'll run out and summon him. He's a small I'm with you. <laughs> the things I do for friends. Alright. Um, that being said, I'll still do all the necessary calling. So, Sonius has three phases. His first phase it goes from 100% health to 90% health. This is our low and slow damage phase. What we need to do is we need to make sure that um, we have two tanks that are fighting for threat, and they are number one or number two on threat, because at that 90%, he goes into his Drago form, and he will drop his threat to the second individual on the threat meter. So whoever is number two is going to be our main tank, in theory, for the entire fight. So those tanks that I'm going to have fighting are going to be Doc Danger and Campo. You guys are going to essentially fight for threat. Um, so everyone else for that first 10%, please do low and slow damage. I don't want anyone accidentally pulling the boss, or I will turn into JDO, as Where's some of you bro? have... Say that again? Where is Heelbro? Heelbro is going to be on Arrhenius. Where is Heelbro physically? Oh, he... Probably oh, physically running out he, is, to summon. he is helping me summon. Gotcha. You didn't get my buff, that's why. Oh, okay. So after the 10%, and he goes to his dragon form, um, 
He works like any dragon. Melee, make sure you're going after his back foot. Casters and healers, uh, you definitely do want to take a step back. And um, we want to make sure that he is directing away from the raid. But healers, your top priority for the entire fight is going to be keeping Heal Bros healers up. That again is Coincidence, Fidelia, and Mamamoo. And also our main tank. Melee DPS, make sure you pop a nature protection potion. You're probably going to have to pop more than one for the entire fight. Also make sure that um, you have bandages, you have tea, you have pots. Because you are definitely the last on the line to get a heal. Um, after the second phase, which again, regular dragon, save for he will have a number of debuffs and curses. We need to make sure that we are not decursing or cleansing. We are not decursing or cleansing. That includes poisons. So um, if you decurse or cleanse, that curse will come back in a stronger variation and it will suck for everyone involved. Um, after phase two, which ends at about 60%, the dragon is going to go to sleep and then he'll summon mobs. The mobs will spawn big mobs and little mobs. And unlike the big mob and little mob packs, um, the big mobs need to go down first, or else they are going to continue to spawn more little mobs. So, remember, all DPS, make sure that we're taking care of the big mobs and then the little mobs. We need to make sure that whoever our main tank is, that they are free during that particular part, because the dragon is only asleep for like 15 seconds. He'll come up and he'll refocus that back on the tank. So, all of the marks that I just put down. Purple is going to be heal bro and his healers. The blue is going to be all of our healers and our casters. Again, healers, you need to make sure that you are going to be on healing heal bro's healers and our main tank. Make sure I pull out all of my needed info. There we go. Alright. Melee. And all of my warriors. At the phase 3 part. When the dragon is asleep and we have the mobs. I don't want anything coming past the green. We need to protect our healers. We need to protect our casters. If they go down, the fight is over. After the dragon comes back up and after all the mobs are down. I want to repeat. All of the mobs are down. It's just a repeat of phase two. So, that being said, I'm going to do a ready check. Make sure that we are all ready to rock and roll. If you feel like you are, please select yes. If you feel like you aren't, please select no. And please call out what you need. He wrote to group eight. That's fine. That actually works for me because I can keep track of all of you at the same time. A little easier. Alright, so remember, healers for heal bro. Please do call out in chat if you need heals, if you're slept. Scream it, yell it, do whatever you need to do. Quack. That's alright, it came back clean. So, um, mommy, give me a couple of quacks once you feel like you are ready. And then once mommy is ready, we will start the fight. Again, first 10%, okay. low and slow. 6K. Are we ready? Yes, 7k. Alright, Doc or Campo, if you want to start. Do you think you can interfere with my eternal duty? The awakening has been foretold long before you Big heals on coincidence, big heals on coincidence. You shall regret setting foot on our hollow trip. Aru, please do watch your threat. Campo, please tank. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, Campo is going to be the main boss unless we take have a takeover. Remember, no decursing, no dispelling. Make sure you're focusing in on that back foot and you're away from his face. Big heals on Mama Moo.
Alright, we are 5% away from the phase 3. So everyone, please do get ready to um, pick up the ads. All of my lovely tanks, all of my warriors, all of my... Well, actually, I don't have any uh, red paladins. Either way, make sure you're ready. You shall remain here forever. Annihilate the ads. This is a presser in the cast group. I need him picked up immediately. Remember, big ads first, ladies and gents. Big ads first. No way you'll be first. Single target the big ones. You have been told multiple times. And this would everyone be swap to the wait, suppressor first, then scale vein, then the wormkin. I read this point, just get the big ads down. Scale veins can be incredibly dangerous in this particular part. Big heals on our main tank. We want to make sure that there are no ads on the tank as well. If you see an ad DPS, make sure you pull it off. Can someone not talk this worm can? I'm just gonna die. Okay, it... Keep clicking Aru, thinking that it's a dragon kin. Get the little ones. All right, casters, feel free to AOE. One dreamer on the tank. Let's try and pull it. All right, are all the dreamers down? Nope, there's still one. Okay. Big heals on coincidence. Big heals on Tamar. Not nah, literally. This All right, more. Doc is down, so Campo has him. Big heals on Campo. Big heals on Campo. And chug another mid situation. Big heals on Fidelia, big heals on Fidelia. Make sure we keep heals on Campo once the dragon is dead. That acid breath does stack and it does do continuous damage. Big heals. Here. Sleep resist. Ooh, is it that shadow? Very good. Alright, everyone, very good job today. Very good job today. We will be looting the dragon first, and then we will be doing the chest. If you're leaving us before um, we finish loot, or before we do Anixia today, really good run today, guys. Um, if you're interested in running Emerald Sanctum with us again, same time, same place next week, and more likely not, also same uh, uh, rate leader. Not by you. Oh my god, the potion actually broke. Okay, like, you're joking, did it really? What the fuck? Yeah, it did. Oh, oh my god. god. I am the only one. Neato. Put it, put it into this. It's best or this, goddammit. Well, it's it's open. It's prio for guildies, so. The sword, guys. Oh the sword? God. Oh my god. Are you kidding? Good loot today, guys. Good loot I today. Didn't look. Oh. I linked it. That means it must be true, right? 